If you Welcome to Doing Time with Joe. I'm your host, Joe Baker, back again with another episode. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for another prank call. Um, I received a letter from this uh, uh, woman. Uh, her name is Reese Smith, and she wanted to pull a prank on her husband. He recently got out of prison. Uh, his name is Brian Smith. And uh, she just wanted to pull a prank on him and scare him up a little bit, you know what I'm saying, for a laugh. And uh, I agreed. And basically what she wants me to do is to uh, call him and pretend that I uh, am a parole officer, an investigator, and scare him up and say that, you know, he's uh, been accused of selling drugs and he's facing a potential violation of his parole and could possibly be sent back to prison. I know to some of y'all that might not be funny, but hey, it takes all kinds in this world. So we're going to try this and see what happens. Uh, just ride along. And I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Uh, so go ahead and give him a call. Hello? Yes, may I speak to Brian Smith, please? It's speaking. How you doing, Brian? My name is Joe Bakley. And I'm out of the uh, Nashville Office of Parole Office. I'm an investigator with the Parole Board. How you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. You good? Right. I just wanted to call you and ask you a few questions. We got a complaint. Uh, not so much as a complaint, but somebody that really cares about you and loves you wrote us a letter to let us know that you uh, might be, uh, how do I say this, getting back into your old ways. Who, who, hold on. You, you got a letter from who? What now? Well, we got a letter from your wife. Your wife is Reese oh, Smith. Oh, my wife? Yes, your wife's name is Reese Smith. Is that correct? Yeah. She's, she's the owner and proprietor of Reese's Creations, right? Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, so I just wanted to make sure we got the right person. Okay. Oh. So she wrote us a letter and told us that you uh, were... Sir, just calm down. Just calm down, okay? Let me just explain to you what's going on. You, you're going to be okay. You're just going to need to cooperate with us and everything's gonna work out, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, now she wrote us a letter saying that you had been hanging around uh, some guys that you shouldn't be hanging around with. She didn't say if they were felons or not, plus she said that she thinks that you're selling drugs again. She thinks. She thinks that you're selling drugs again. She hasn't seen you actually do it, but she's just concerned for you. She's, she's concerned for you, she loves you. She just wanted to write us and let us know that we might need to talk to you, have a talk with you. You're not at danger right now oh. of being sent back to prison. Oh, 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 why are you talking to my wife, man? Well, first of all, sir, your wife wrote us. We don't just up and call people and ask about them, even though we can, because in your conditions for parole, we can come to your house at any time. I you understand that, We can that, come but... to your house at any time. Your wife wrote us, sir, hey, bro, so we're not going to go through. You? Sir, is somebody else in the hey, room with you? you? Yeah. Is yeah. somebody else in the room with you? I hear another voice. Yeah, yeah, that's one of my homeboys, yeah. Is this is this phone on intercom? Yeah, yes it is. Okay, first of all, sir, this is a private conversation. Hey, and man, we really don't need know, anybody else listening here, to our conversation. Hey, is is this a relative of yours? It's one of my homeboys, childhood friends. He's a homeboy? Yeah. Do you mean homeboy? Is somebody you run the yeah, streets man, with? Are you listening to what he's saying, man? No. Is this so are you back involved in criminal activity? No, I'm not, man. Look so here. So why is this? No. Sir, sir, no. sir, sir, I need to talk to you. Could you please, could you please ask him? Oh, I am Please ask him to leave the room, sir. Oh. I am trying to have a conversation with you. Oh, hold on. And could you also take the phone off of intercom, sir? Hey, who, 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 who you say your sir, name was again, man? My name is Joe Blakely. I'm an investigator for the parole board. Sir, could I please, sir? Could I please hey, get this? Be, be cool, bro. Be cool. I, I, I'm, I'm going to hang up the phone here in a minute, though. I'm going to see what's Sir, going on with this. it would be advisable for you to man, hang up the phone. Don't don't Could you leave the room? Dude, Could you ask this gentleman man, to leave the room, man. sir? Hang that damn phone on. Bro, bro, go on. step out, bro. Don't Listen, worry about it. I'm going to take it. Don't say my name when you talk to him. Just be cool, bro. I'm going to get off the phone with him in a minute, man. All right. He done stepped out, man. All right. Now... You said your name Joe, right? My name is Joe Blakely. Yes, Blakely, sir. Okay. I'm an investigator look, look, for the parole board. Look, 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 we man, just, I'm, 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 let, me, let me ask you something, damn it. All right. First, first of all, sir, before you get to asking questions, let me explain to you what it is that I do. Because I don't want you to misunderstand what's going on here, okay? Okay. I'm an investigator. And anytime we get complaints from people in the community, particularly a family member, we like to investigate these things before they go to the next level, okay? 
And when I say next level, I'm talking about being violated and sent back to prison. What? Okay, but so man, I'm right not now, even doing you're not, that, man. You, sir, that's why I want to explain to you what my role is. Right now, you are not at risk of being sent back to prison. We just got questions we want to ask you. Uh -huh. But right now, sir, I got to be honest with I you. I got questions on my doing, own. Of course, you have a right to ask me, but I got to be honest with you. I've been doing this for years. Okay. And the, 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 the hostility that I hear in your voice, the attitude that you're displaying tells me a lot. And based on my experience, it tells me that you have something to hide. No, man. What is you talking about, man? I ain't got nothing to hide, man. All I'm doing, man, I'm doing what I'm supposed to. So you're not you're not involved in any illegal activities whatsoever. Absolutely not. Are you man. hanging around any felons? No. Was that gentleman that was just on this phone in the room with you? Was he a convicted felon? No, he was not. So could man. you give me his name? Absolutely not. Why am I not gonna give you give you my uh, partner name, man? He ain't done nothing. No. Again, I told he you he has nothing to do with a this. A few minutes ago, I told you that I've been doing this for a long time. Okay. Okay. And my experience is telling me you got something to hide. No, I don't. I don't know. Guilty what. people don't withhold information, sir. No, I, I I disagree, man. Look, look, man. I'm working. I just started my job, man, last week, man. I'm working. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Now, what I am going to do, I'm going to have a talk with my wife and see why she wrote you a letter telling you all this when she need to be coming to me, her husband, talking about all this. Well, that's so, between, I don't know what's going that's on. That's between you and your wife and what I would say to you. And let me correct some of you minutes ago. I said guilty people don't withhold it. Guilty people do withhold information. And that's what you're acting like. But let me get back to you talking about having a conversation with your wife. Mm -hmm. That's between you and your wife. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to put, uh, get in the middle of that. But what I will say, sir, is this. When you do talk to your wife, keep in mind that she was trying to do something to help you. She was not trying to hurt you. And if you escalate that conversation and it becomes domestic, you will be violated and oh, sent back to prison. You understand that? No, nah, man. See, now you're talking about you want to help me. It sounds like you're trying to help me get locked back no, up. No, 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 no. Let me, let, me, let me let you know another thing. The parole board and the people that work for the parole board, we're not here to hurt you. We're here to help you. That sounds good. We want good. you to be, well, it's true. It's true, because we make sure that you stay on the path to do the right thing. And if you try to do the wrong thing, try to be sneaky, you should be grateful that you got people in your life like your wife. Okay. You should be grateful that we, you have people that want to give you the right tools that you need to succeed. You should be grateful for that. I am grateful for that. But then you need to act like it, sir. Well, I am, man. Just that. How would you like it if I called you up out of the blue accusing you of something that you ain't even doing? Well, sir, I'm not of a course convicted you felon. You, well, I'm not a convicted felon, and well, I don't have to worry well, about something. Well, brother, you can't you put yourself in my shoes then, man. Well, no, I'm not, and, I, and, I, and I'm not going to try. And I'm not going to try. And I'm going to be thankful to the Most High that I'm not in your shoes. But what I am going to say is that that is the part of the consequence that you have to deal with. Okay. Okay? And I look here, from one man to another, I understand what you're saying. But you're a convicted felon, and that's what we do. You're a convicted felon, and we're going to make sure that we're watching everything that you do. Understand that. That's cool, but, man, I done okay. paid my debt, man. I done, I done, I'm, I'm in folks, man. I done done my time. I'm back at it. I'm Who doing the right thing. Who told you that? Who told you, you, you paid your debt? I mean, I paid my debt. I'm out. I'm out no, of prison. No, hold up, sir. Parole is a privilege. It's not a right. Okay. But that mean, what I mean, what I mean, my didn't let me out. From my paperwork, you still got six years. You, you're right. So you could go back to prison tomorrow. See, see, this, see why you want to try to, see, no, that's what I'm talking, see, I'm now that's what I'm you, talking sir. about. I'm not threatening you. I'm, st I'm stating facts. Okay, but what the fact is with me, I done what I was supposed to in there. That's why they let me out. Are you doing what you're supposed to do out there? Right. Yes, I am. I'm working. Are you? Yes, I am. I ain't running around. Look, my my terms of my parole was I couldn't hang around no convicted felons. Yeah. Can't be in around any drugs or uh, any type of weapons at all. Yeah. And I got to keep a job. And I got to be in the nine at night. Yeah, your curfew. That's and right. I've been doing that, man. And you've so, been doing that. Yeah, so why am I getting a call time about you pass, Can you pass the piss test right now? Man, where the cup at? So if we came by your house right now to give you a piss test, you'd pass it? Man, I'll fill the cup up for Is you. Any contraband in your house? No, man, none. Better no weapons, be. no drugs, no nothing. Man, none. If it was that, I didn't put it there, but I ain't Sir, done nothing. Wait, see, that's that language right there. Again, you back on that language, what criminals talk. If I, if it is, I didn't put it there. That tells me something's going on. No. No, look, look, Is man. that gentleman that was just in the room, is he involved in criminal activity? No, he's not, man. He ain't got somebody, nothing to do with this at all, Let me man. give you some more advice. That's let just my home, but he's concerned advice. about me. That's let me, all. Let me, sir, let me give you some more advice before we wrap this up. 
Because I think my report, I got all the information I need for my report. Man, what you finna do, man? That, I, well, sir, that's between me and your parole officer. But I'm going to give you some advice. That man. gentleman that was in the room with you earlier, you need to stay away from him. Because he sounds to me like he got an anger problem. He's hostile. And that's not the type of person you want to be around. Well, how would you expect him to respond, man, when you're getting a call out of the blue time by, man, you might be doing something? Well, I don't no. understand. Why is he so involved in what's going on with you? Man, because he, man, he's is one of Is there something else going on that, no, that I might he's one of my. He, man, he's like a real close friend. He's like a brother to me. He's one of my homeboy childhood friends, man. He's just concerned about my safety right now. Oh, okay, dude. He's that's all. He's about your safety. He's hmm? concerned about your safety. Yeah. If somebody calls you and tells you that they are calling for the parole board as an investigator, mm -hmm. and he tells you not to talk to him. Is right. That right. He tells you don't say my name. Who else talks like that other than criminals? Man, look here, man. You know how, well, I don't know where you came from, bro, but where I came from, man, we don't talk, man. You know what I'm saying? We just do what we so supposed to. So you still to. think like a criminal? No, I ain't thinking like no, nothing, man. No, that's what criminals think like. No, I ain't yeah, thinking like nothing. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they look, do. Look, look, man. Citizens we, out here in the, in the world, they, they cooperate. They want their communities to be safe. They don't have a problem. If somebody's committing a crime in the neighborhood, they don't have a problem calling the police and doing the right thing. It sounds to me like you still thinking like somebody that needs to protect a criminal. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Man. No. See, well, that, I got all see, the information you, you I need from my report. See, now you accusing me. I got all me. the information I need. So now, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Nah, no, I'm finna call my P.O., man. Well, you call and your P.O., you're gonna name, find man. out that your P.O. called yeah. me. Man, you calling me, me harassing me, me, brother. Well, this is not harassment. This is my job. This is my job, sir. Well, we gonna see, man. Well, I'm, I'm perfectly yeah. fine. I think I'm telling you, I'm gonna go in here and talk to my wife, man. See what the hell going on here, man. You better make sure you you better make sure you talk to your wife with a mild voice. That's Hold what on, you need. What to you do. mean? I bet him, man. Well, That's my wife, telling, man. You're a convicted fella, so you really don't have any leeway to say anything. That's man. what it is, right? But let me ask you a quick question, right? Do you ever listen to any podcast shows? Man, what? Have you ever heard of Doing Time with Joe? Yeah, man. What they got to do with this, man? So you've listened to Doing Time with Joe? Yeah. And you don't recognize my voice? Hold on, <laughs> man. I know. <laughs> Hold on, man. Yeah, man. man. Yeah, me and Miss Reese, I got you. We got you, man. Yeah, hey, man. Let me calm you down first of all. Look, you ain't at risk or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, man. I'm over here sweating, you know. sweating like, sweat like a slave, man. <laughs> Yeah, hey, man, I'm going to kill y'all. Why? Well, shouldn't no, even say that. See, there no, you go. No, no, there I ain't going to say that. That's a felony. That's a felony my right man, there. My bad, my bad. Okay, y'all. Yeah, so okay, else, man. But look here, man. I just wanted to call you, man, and tell you, Thank stay you, on the path, man. Keep doing what you're doing out there because you're doing good from what we hear. I appreciate it, You know what I'm saying? You, appreciate and, uh, it. But that dude that you was with, you might want to watch him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I got to go in here and calm him <laughs> down, boy, because yeah, he had his fish grease right now. Yeah, no doubt. But is there anything you want to say out there, man? Say to the listeners out there, man, about your situation and and how you uh, coping with being on parole. Hey, man, all y'all out there, man, just do what you're supposed to, man. You know, think better, do better, man, live better, man. You know, just because, you know, we got the uh, card stacked against us, man, you know, do do what you're supposed to do, man. Don't it ain't, it ain't cool to be locked up, man, but just make sure you got loved ones around you and surround yourself with the right people, man, that got your best interest at heart, man. And that's what's up, man. I appreciate you saying that, right? And now I'm going to wrap this up. This has been another episode of Doing Time with Joe. I'm your host, Joe Bacon. I say peace, y'all.